So we've done a ton of little projects on the truck, nothing really to time lapse or anything like that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, show you what we've done. You know, it's possibly the most tedious thing I've done on this truck to date is put all of these little connectors, or all these little D-rings in this headliner. So boring. It's almost as boring as putting all these together. I take that back. It'd be more boring to watch me in real time do all of these. There's a YouTube video. Oh my God. Unsubscribe. <laughs> okay. See what I'm going for here? Tying really bad shoelaces. Yeah, then I can shove paper and stuff in there. I don't have any paper to shove in there, but... <laughs> no. I need a clip. Well, I can't seem to find any decent clamps to hold this stuff together. So I think what we're going to do is some ghetto wire tying <laughs> with some string. Wow, this is actually wax twine for wire tying cables. <laughs> <sighs> be nicer if it was green. And it'd be nicer if I put the loop on the other side. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Cut it off, retie it so that the end is facing the top. Yeah. I have to come in and then come around in that way. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. So I managed to get some black thread and I found in the old Empire of Dirt these terminal caps that cap this stuff off. Looks pretty darn good. So we're gonna slap a crimp. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we're talking. Beautiful. Because I know somebody's OCD is out there just freaking out right now saying, oh, white and green and no end cap and it's all frayed and looks ugly. So we're good. Okay, calm down internet. We're gonna do a CB radio and a GMRS radio. So some of you might be asking, why the heck are you gonna be using two radios? Well, the GMRS radio is pretty much ubiquitous across some of the backcountry four buyers and some of the friends that I'm gonna be out driving around with. And everybody and their dog has a CB radio. So it's nice to actually be able to listen into the truckers on the forest service roads, letting you know that they're coming down with a load of lumber. And why is there two separate radios? Well, the GMRS, or General Mobile Radio System, and the FRS, Family Radio System, operate on the same frequency at different power levels. CB, on the other hand, or Citizen Band Radio, works on an entirely different frequency range. Couple that with FCC regulations, which would prevent manufacturers from combining the CB with any other product. So I had originally planned to put the GMRS radio up here, but then I realized the cable for the microphone was just going to be dangling and as I was driving it was going to swing over and hit me in the face unless I drug it all the way back to stretch it out and you know as much fun as it is to take shots of the face while you're driving so we're just done with phrasing right that's not a thing anymore I figured I'd go ahead and relocate it down here under the dash so I started with uh Putting one rib nut in there and then I'll line everything up and we'll get this thing put in. Um, I'm not going to time lapse it. I'll just 
show you when I get done. Well, we managed to find a nice quiet little hidey hole to put our uh, CV module and run the microphone over to a, well, magnet for now. I think that's a much better place for them. Well, I realized that was a very abrupt end to a video, so I figured I'd film a little bit of an outro. So happy 4th of July, everybody. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Don't. Shit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Look who we ran into. It's a good looking truck, Dan.